Now it's time to move on to some Q&A from you, the viewers. And this first question came in uh, from someone a couple of weeks ago, and I couldn't find their question. And I shot it last week, and it's about task management. So uh, you're going to hear me do that right now with a different shirt on. So let's take it away. Now this next question came in from a viewer, and unfortunately I lost the question and I didn't get it integrated into my task management system, so we're going to have to put in this placeholder here. Hopefully they will take credit for asking the question down in the comments below, but you'll see that as good as this task management system I'm about to talk about is, I, it sometimes fails me and sometimes I fail it. So uh, that is what happened here. But nonetheless, he was curious about how I manage everything that I have to do, how do I keep track of all my tasks, and what I have done, uh, is adopted a lot of the philosophy of the getting things done system by David Allen. I've got an affiliate link up for his book right there. And if you are feeling overwhelmed by the things you have to do, I cannot recommend this book enough because it was a real life changer for me. Um, it really helped direct me and get me better organized because as I got older and my responsibilities increased, I had more to keep track of and things got more complex. And this is a really just a top-notch way to look at uh, your responsibilities and manage them better. And what's nice about this is that it's not some rah-rah, you know, self-help book. It's an actual system that is a philosophy and a process that you can apply across many different applications and other things to help manage yourself better. You kind of get the concept here, and then you find a tool that helps you uh, best address that. And the big thing with GTD is to get everything out of your head, but also look at your projects in a less linear fashion. Because typically we look at a project as, I need to do this task, this task, this task, and this task, but rarely does it account for how much time or energy you have to accomplish a certain task. And sometimes you can get something done on multiple projects at the same time by looking at your tasks and what uh, kind of energy and time commitment you might have to execute uh, to get those done. And the application I found to best execute this is on the Mac, and it's on the iPhone and iPad also, and it's called OmniFocus. And this is one of those applications that is not a turnkey solution. You really got to learn how to use this. And our channel of the week this week is one place to go to learn how to use this a little bit better. So you really have to read the book first, get a feel for the concepts, and then uh, you might be ready for OmniFocus. And this is what it looks like. Now, right now, I've got it in just kind of a demo mode here because I've got a lot of other stuff that I'm running my life with on here, and I wanted to simplify it for the purposes of uh, this little overview. So inside of OmniFocus, you can see here I've got a couple of projects set up. I've got some general tasks. I've got uh, preparations for the big review that I'm doing this week. This is all hypothetical stuff. And then items that I want to shoot later this week. And what you'll see here on the list are some things that involve calling somebody. So for example, here is I call the company with questions about some functionality in this project. And then in one of my general tasks, I've got to call this guy about the other thing. And if I was looking at this strictly as a task-based thing, I might be going through just this project and looking at everything and saying, oh, I can't do anything on this project today because I have no more time left in the day. But what's cool about OmniFocus and GTD in general is that you set a context for the things that you're going to do. So in this case, call the other guy here is a contact to make context. In other words, this is a kind of a tag that I've assigned to this thing so that let's say I've got 20 minutes to uh, do some stuff before I have to run out somewhere. I'm certainly not going to start something that's going to take an hour. But if I can get this call done in five minutes or shoot off a quick email, I can actually knock something out of this project pretty quickly. And rather than having to dive through each project individually to find what I'm looking for, I can go over to my context menu here, go to the contact to make section, and I see I've got both of these contacts that I have to make in two different projects. And I can go through and get these things done very quickly, make progress towards my goals without getting overwhelmed by everything that's in the project. And this is just kind of the, the, the skim of the surface here of uh, the GTD method. But really, this is kind of how it works, that you can really start looking at your tasks differently and looking at them in different ways depending on when you sit down to work on them. Sometimes I have a whole day set out to do just one project. And if that's the case, I'll look at it on a project-based method here. But if I'm you know, out somewhere and I'm waiting to meet with somebody and maybe I've got 20 minutes, I'll go through my list of calls to make and get some of those projects worked on while I'm sitting in the car waiting. And those kinds of things 
uh, have made a big difference in my life just by adopting that GTD strategy and then finding some software here like OmniFocus to execute all of that in. And one of the things that's happening with OmniFocus later this month is they have a new version coming out where you can assign tasks to multiple tags. So rather than just being the contact tag here, I can also say do this today and have different types of tags assigned to these things so I can even uh, organize them in many different ways depending on how I'm looking at them. So I'm really excited about uh, the next version of OmniFocus coming out soon. But again, you've you got to read that book to really get a feel for the concept. But what's been great about it is that because I am so heavily invested in OmniFocus, everything I'm thinking about having to do is in here. And I can spend some time on the weekend sometimes going through its review process where every couple of weeks it brings up every project that I haven't looked at so I can make sure I'm not missing anything. And I've really gotten a lot less stress in my life by taking everything I have to do and putting it inside of this trusted system. And it's made my life so much better to not have to worry about what I'm not what I'm basically thinking I'm missing. I'm not missing anything anymore, and I can really prioritize based on how these contexts work and really get more things done because I can look at things based on how much time it takes to complete them versus the entire package. That's been a big help. The other big thing that I've been using is Inbox by Gmail, which is a Google thing. It's officially Google, but it's a different way of looking at your Gmail inbox, and I'll put this up real quick so you can see it. Some of you may have played with this already, but what's cool about Inbox is that it allows you to, first of all, group things by uh, different categories. So you can see here all these updates that came in, 25 plus, are all in their own bucket here. So I don't have all this junk kind of filling up my uh, inbox. I can get the important things, like an email directly to me, separate from all the other stuff that may not be as important. And it's got different things that it can assign, like a promo thing here. So all the advertisements come in under promos there, for example. Um, trips, if I have any coming up, are logged there. I've got all of my purchases here, if I made any, or finance, financial transactions kind of stored in separate buckets. So it makes it easier to browse through things and find things. And the really cool thing is that I can uh, snooze items also. So here's an email that I uh, sent to myself saying, hey, what are my plans for next week? Well, I can take this and just say, you know what, I don't want to see this email until 8 a.m. tomorrow. And what'll happen is at 8 a.m. tomorrow when I log into my email, it will show up again in the inbox. I don't miss it. And it's great when you get stuff in over the weekend that you don't want to deal with on the weekend. You can snooze it to Monday morning. When Monday morning rolls around, it's waiting for you in there. And it's been getting smarter also because sometimes I get an email from somebody that got buried and I forgot to reply to it. Inbox has been putting those things back up in front of me to say, hey, you got this three days ago. You didn't reply. Do you want to reply to it? Those little smart things have been really, really helpful. Uh, this runs on Android as an app as well as on iOS too, so it's with me everywhere and I'm able to get a somewhat better handle on my email and not miss replying to important emails too, and it's been a big help in my productivity. So there you go, that is my task management at the moment. Uh, there is a new version of OmniFocus, the beta that uh, just came out, so I am gonna be downloading that tonight. I'm actually very excited to play with it. This is how much of a productivity nerd I have become. Uh, so I'll be messing around with that a bit. And one thing that kind of occurred to me in the week that uh, transpired since I recorded that thing about how I'm using uh, Inbox by Gmail to manage my email, I have been uh, probably the worst I have ever been with email over the last six or eight months. And I think it's just the multitude of stuff that I'm doing. Uh, I'm spending so much time doing everything that I just, I just don't have the patience to look at email at the end of the day. So one of the things I'm going to be working on is uh, maybe blocking off set times during the day where I look at email uh, and that way I'll have probably a better mental state to actually go through it all because I just get so much stuff and as you'll see in a second a lot of stuff I don't want to see uh, but nonetheless it is just piling up and I am sure I am missing uh, important communications in the process. I'm going to be improving this a bit. Inbox helps because it does put things back in front of me that I didn't respond to, but I don't want to rely on artificial intelligence to do what I should be doing with my own intelligence. So uh, that is something I'll be working on, and maybe I'll do a follow-up on that in the coming weeks. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.